Catherine Deneuve. Welcome, I am Chloe from Movies on Disc. Today our star is Catherine Deneuve. Catherine Deneuve is a French actress, producer, and model who has starred in over 140 films since her debut in 1957. She is considered one of the greatest European actresses on film and has received numerous awards and nominations for her performances. Here is my top 10 list of Catherine Deneuve movies, based on my own criteria of popularity, critical acclaim, and personal preference. I will also provide some brief information about each movie and why I think it is worth watching. Belle de Jour, 1967, this is one of Deneuve's most iconic roles, in which she plays Severine, a bored and unhappy housewife who secretly works as a prostitute in a brothel. The film is a masterpiece of eroticism and surrealism by director Louis Boonwell, who explores the themes of fantasy, desire, and morality. The Umbrellas of Cherbourg, 1964, this is the film that launched Deneuve's career, in which she plays Genevieve, a young woman who falls in love with a mechanic but is forced to marry a wealthy jeweler when he leaves for military service. The film is a musical romance by director Jacques Demy, who uses vibrant colors and catchy songs to create a poignant and bittersweet story. Repulsion, 1965, this is one of Deneuve's most challenging roles, in which she plays Carol, a shy and beautiful manicurist who suffers from a severe case of androphobia and psychosis. The film is a psychological horror thriller by director Roman Polanski, who creates a claustrophobic and disturbing atmosphere of paranoia and madness. Onda Sheen, 1992, this is one of Deneuve's most acclaimed roles, in which she plays Eliani, a wealthy French plantation owner who adopts a Vietnamese girl and becomes involved in the Indochina War. The film is an epic drama by director Regis Wagner, who depicts the historical and political events of the colonial era with stunning cinematography and costumes. Deneuve received her first and only Oscar nomination for this role. Dancer in the Dark, 2000 this is one of Deneuve's most surprising roles, in which she plays Kathy, a factory worker who befriends and supports a blind immigrant named Selma, who loves musicals and is saving money for her son's eye operation. The film is a musical drama by director Lars von Trier, who mixes realism and fantasy to create a tragic and emotional story. The film also stars singer Bjork, who won the Best Actress Award at Cannes for her performance. Eight Women 2002, this is one of Deneuve's most fun roles, in which she plays Gabby, the matriarch of a dysfunctional family who gathers for Christmas in a secluded mansion, where her husband is found murdered. The film is a comedy mystery by director Francois Ozon, who pays homage to the genre of whodunit and the style of Hollywood musicals. The film also features an ensemble cast of eight talented French actresses, who each sing a song in the film. The Last Metro 1980, this is one of Deneuve's most memorable roles, in which she plays Marion, a stage actress who runs a theatre in Nazi-occupied Paris, while hiding her Jewish husband in the basement. The film is a historical drama by director Francois Trefort, who explores the themes of art, love, and resistance. The film won ten César awards, including Best Actress for Deneuve and Best Film. The Hunger, 1983, this is one of Deneuve's most seductive roles, in which she plays Miriam, a centuries-old vampire who lives with her lover John, who is aging rapidly. The film is a cult classic by director Tony Scott, who blends horror, romance, and style to create a sensual and stylish film. The film also features a famous love scene between Deneuve and Susan Sarandon, who plays a doctor who becomes Miriam's next target. The Young Girls of Rochefort, 1967, this is one of Deneuve's most cheerful roles, in which she plays Delphine, a twin sister who dreams of finding true love and leaving her small town. The film is a musical comedy by director Jacques Demy, who reunites with Deneuve and creates a colorful and charming tribute to Hollywood musicals. The film also features Gene Kelly, who plays a famous American composer who visits Rochefort. Tristana, 1970, this is one of Deneuve's most complex roles, in which she plays Tristana, 
a young orphan who is taken in by a wealthy and older man, who becomes her guardian and lover. The film is a drama by director Luis Bunuel, who adapts a novel by Benito Perez Galdós and explores the themes of power, sexuality, and religion. The film was nominated for the Best Foreign Language Film Oscar. I hope you enjoyed my list and learned something new about Catherine Deneuve and her movies. She is a versatile and talented actress who has worked with some of the best directors in the world. She is also a fashion icon and a cultural symbol of France. She is still active and working in the film industry, and I look forward to seeing her future projects. Catherine in love, Catherine in love. You are so beautiful.